Welcome back to Tain Slate Info. On July 19, the Korea Aerospace Industries KF-21 stealth fighter made its first flight, marking a major milestone for South Korea's defense sector. The KF-21 is expected to be the first fifth-generation fighter which is developed by South Korea, which is indeed a great achievement by them. The airframe of this particular fighter is stealthier than the fourth-generation fighters, but it does not carry weapons in an internal bay like fifth-generation fighters, though the internal base may be introduced later in Block 2 variants. According to South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, the fighter prototype took an approximate 30-minute round trip from an air base in the southern city of Sechuan, and the fighter was piloted by an experienced pilot of the Air Force Test and Evaluation Unit. It is said that the KF-21, which took first flight, was equipped with four dummy mature air-to-air missiles and an infrared search and track system, and it flew at a speed of 400 km per hour to check the basic functions of the jet's body, and it landed safely. The jet is the first of a fleet of six KF-21 prototypes made by Korea Aerospace Industries. As per the different sources, these prototypes will conduct more than 2,000 test flights from now until 2026 when the mass production and deployment will begin. The Korean Air Force considers deploying 120 KF-21s by 2030 to tentatively. Once operational, the KF-21 is expected to be equipped with a range of air-to-air and air-to-surface missiles and possibly even air-launched cruise missiles. The twin-engine fighters will come in single- and two-seat versions. The program has significantly enhanced the South Korean aerospace capabilities, particularly in design, manufacturing, airframe components, and avionic systems. So that was a quick and a small video to provide an update on the first flight of the KF-21 fighter of South Korea. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.